All right, it's time for Seattle Sips, where we highlight delicious drinks in our area. And today we are joined by Chris Jones and Dave Flatman with Screwdriver Bar. Thanks what? for coming in. What's up, guys? Thanks for having you guys have Thanks cool style. I'm into this. <laughs> Thank you. So, Screwdriver Bar opened in 2016. Yep. Uh, it's in Belltown. Tell us all about it. It's a basement rock and roll bar. Um, it's a kind of a it's a shrine. It's a museum. It's a labor of love it's an art project and it's like stepping into dave and i's mind soul heart and Aww. it's everything that we love if it's on the walls we love it deeply and it's just a uh, it's there's nothing like it that what kind is of so things, cool what kind of things would we see on the walls like museum wise records okay. um old show posters there's lots of like velvet paintings of rock stars seattle and otherwise cool. just anything related to music that we love yeah it's like it's grunge it's country it's british invasion it's just all encompassing it's just if there's if if it's musically and we love it it goes it goes in and speaking of grudge this was a formerly a recording studio correct like Absolutely. during the grudge yeah. era yeah, back so, in like the late 80s early 90s how yes. cool and like how do you honor that part with the bar well grunge is such an important musical like touchstone in all like rock and roll history but mm -hmm. also in seattle history mm -hmm. and people yeah. come down all the time people always come to Seattle to try to experience that and we have nods to old like Pearl Jam photographs was with screwdriver building in the background we have Nirvana stuff we just have like a lot of like grunge nods but it's just kind of like with everything in rock and roll but we wanted to we're very proud of grunge we're very proud of Seattle so we we have to pay reverence to that so there's that's wonderful. Hundreds of nods in there to Seattle yeah, history. Yeah, I that's love wonderful. it. And we're making two drinks today. What yep. are we making first? Uh, the first one we're going to make is, is uh, we call the local celebrity. It's a tequila-based cautel with some citrus, some ginger, a little tiki bitters, and aperol. Let's Amazing. do it. Let's yeah. get into Let's it. Let's make a couple of those. All right, so so the local celebrity is this for any particular local celebrity? Uh, it's, yeah, it's kind of we have a couple of good friends who. Would kind of show up while we were researching and developing this cocktail. Mm -hmm. Their timing was always perfect, so we kind of, as a, as a nod to them, a little bit of a joke, called it the local celebrity. Can we get their names, right. or is it a secret? <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of it was kind of a rotating cast, rotating cast okay. of people. So yeah, that yeah. sounds a pretty small community. So sure, a little like you know, nod to some some local heroes that that people know in the in the neighborhood. So what did you do there? The clear. The so clear? that's that's our tequila. We just use a blanco tequila. We got um, a little bit of lime and a little you, and lime, some pineapple, this? some okay. ginger syrup. Okay. And then a little bit of aperol. Okay. What is aperol? Aperol is a an Italian bitter liqueur. Okay. Um, kind of think along the lines of Campari. If you're familiar with that, yeah, just, yeah sure. Just kind of less bitter, less less astringent, less in your face. All right. Now what is this? It works. This is a tiki bitters. Uh, which tiki. is a really cool, um, really cool bitters has a bunch of kind of barks and things that you would find in like Caribbean islands. Oh, oh yeah. cool! Yeah, adds a lot of cool notes to the cocktail. Excellent. This is what ice. Some ice in. Shake yep, it up. Get a little ice in here. Shake it up. So cool. You know, I make a lot of drinks. I, I, you know what? The, during the pandemic, that was like my skill that oh, I learned. Cool. So I learned how to make a bunch of drinks. And, yeah. And, you know, got the whole the shaker, the whole thing, and yeah. all that stuff. I never, I never bartended back in the day. So I don't know. Me yeah, but uh, it was so it's a fun thing. Probably, probably hit at parties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, you guys also have DJs that come in and and spin vinyl occasionally, live music. Tell mm -hmm. us about that part. We do. We have. Um, we have at least probably. Two to three times a week, we have rock and roll DJs that come in and generally spin like 60s and 70s rock and roll. And but we also have the basement is kind of split up into two. There's we also have another business Thank called you. the Belltown Yacht Club, where we have partners with uh, Teresa Hay and Ed Maloney, and it's a live music venue with about 150 person live mm -hmm. music venue. So it's like Screwdriver is the shrine to rock and roll. Belltown Yacht Club is where the new music is made. Cool. And uh, so they kind of work in work in cahoots oh, with each other. Love it. Cahoots, this is fantastic, by yeah. the way. It is. It's <laughs> strong. Let's make the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Get the next one going. I do like. So what is I get, the next one? I like. I can taste like it's almost like they got a little zing to it. Well, you know what I mean? Little, yeah. Yeah. So the the next one's called the uh, the spicy drink. Okay. Uh, like I said, spicy. it's vodka based. We use this uh, 
this tamarind um, and chili infused vodka, which is super cool, just delicious. It's not super spicy, but it has like a nice kick to it. I never think of tamarind as like a drink. Yeah, yeah it works. Oh. works like very just well. in, just enough spice. Yeah. 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 yeah, and then it also has uh, the same ginger syrup used in the first drink, so it has that kind of ginger kick to it. Mm -hmm. also. Okay, it's it's healthy, so it's right? Healthy. If there's yeah, ginger yeah, it's, in it's, it's good for your you. Health. Yeah, it's kind of what we figured. You know, it's still pretty early in the day, so yeah, something something healthy. Was <laughs> Gotta good. work on that digestion system. Exactly. All that good stuff. By the way, you guys have a food too, don't you? Uh, yeah, we do. We, we recently started doing uh, steamed dumplings. Oh. We get them from um, a place down in, in the International District, Ping's Dumpling House. Oh, yeah, yeah. We just buy them from her, kind of bulk, and steam them to order. They're delicious. That's kind of amazing. fun. Really good, really good bar so food. Yeah. yeah. And trivia uh, nights also? Yeah. Trivia nights, once once a month we do, me and uh, kind of our house DJ, Maxwell Edison, we do a approachably difficult trivia night where we <laughs> where we pick a different genre like the first one was the British invasion like you okay. know the Beatles in the early 60s yeah the last one was Led Zeppelin we'll do another one next month and it's it goes about two hours it's more it's educational it's very fun it's competitive and it's just uh it's just a, a good time yeah it's really fun you can't make it a layup you got to make it a little hard. you got to make right. people earn it <laughs> absolutely yeah. cheers. cheers cheers friend and what was cheers, this guys. called again that's the spicy drink mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or that mm -hmm. spicy one sorry mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah so like I said, it's, oh, got, it's got a little kick to it, but it's not. What's it's not the spicy like, thing in it again? Uh, so it's that tamarind and chili vodka tamarind and, and chili. then the ginger syrup. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot going on in this one, and I'm there all is. about it. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's super refreshing. It's a good, like, yeah. kind of warm day, yeah. warm day cocktail. Yeah, it, awesome. can, it, it, it kind of burns in a good way. Yeah. yeah. You always say, I like this. Yeah, Anything you, else you want to tell people about your spot? Uh, we're open seven days a week. Yeah. Um, come on down to Belltown. It's uh, it's a great community. It's a wonderful place, and it's kind of like the bar that every uh, yeah, it's a rock and roll bar, but everybody's yeah. welcome, and it's uh, it's community based. It's a safe space, and it's just a guaranteed fun time. I love it. And, and you, you even got to be dazzled with screwdrivers. Absolutely. On your, on your always <laughs> always cool. have to stay on brand. Would yeah. you encourage people to dress up like rock and always. roll for this? Okay. Yes. Always. Ab absolutely. Always. All right. Go on down <laughs> and rock it up, baby. Uh, yes, uh, Chris and Dave, thank you so much. We have a link to more information on the screwdriver bar up on our website. That is fox13seattle.com slash studio13live. Thanks so much, you guys. That was great. That was really great. And still ahead, coming